Mantis on the line, Dunsmuir, California. Hello, Mantis. Hey, what's up? What up? Okay, Leo. <laughs> what makes VCDs? You know. So I want to know how to encode an MPEG-1. All right. That is bad. That's a very important question. We did this once before, Mantis, and I frankly blew it. I did a terrible job, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it for real. We're going to take our time doing this so you understand it. This is the process of taking your old tapes uh, or any video source, getting them onto the hard drive, and then putting them on a CD where they can be played back on other computers and even on DVD players. So follow along with me, if you will. First of all, we need, if you don't have the t video on t hard drive, we need to get it on the hard drive. And for that, you need a video capture card. We're using in here the what my favorite from ATI. It's the All-in-Wonder Radeon. And it has this little dongle that comes off the back of it here. And this thing allows me to connect up my VCR. I'm going to pop the tape in here. This little tape we made in Las Vegas when we were there for CES. little home movie of the Call for Help family. So I've hooked this up. This is the video cable. Yellow is always video. Audio is red and white for left and right channel. So I've hooked the audio and the video up to this, and it's going to be going into my computer. This is the process we've talked about so many times before called digitization, or converting analog data into bits and bytes. I'll run some software on here. This is the software that comes with the All-in-Wonder, but any video capture card and any software will do. We're going to make an AVI first, Mantis. Uh, you said MPEG, and you said an important thing. I'm going, to show, yeah. I'm going to answer your specific question in a second, but let's get the tape uh, onto the hard drive. So let me, uh, let me play it back. I'm going to press the play button. This is uh, something we did in a karaoke booth at uh, the Luxor Hotel. And I'm going to press the record button. Oh, my gosh, this is terrible. That's Allison. Uh, there I am. Chris Krause. That's Larry Schwartz, one of our producers. David Prager with the screensavers. Over here on the left, Rich Statter. And there's Casey Fisher, who is cleverly hiding during most of this. All right, that's enough. We've recorded it. Now, what we've done here, man, is, is if we, we've got an AVI, okay? Uh, I'm, and I'm going to record the Bohemian Rhapsody.avi, because that's what the name of the song, onto the hard drive. You'll want to do that with all your tapes and get them onto the hard drive. Do it in the best quality you can, your computer can handle. Now it's an AVI. If I double click it, I'll be able to play it back. Not, this is not coming from the tape. Let me eject the tape so you understand. That is on the hard drive. And boy, it's just as ugly as it was the first time around. Now, here's the answer to your question, man, is to make a video, we could just burn those AVI files onto a CD and send it to Grandma and say, Grandma, just double-click them and a Windows Media Player will launch and you can watch them. But that's not very viewer-friendly, right? Is that going to play on a DVD player? Yeah, they will. What we're going to do, we'll play on many DVD, not all, but and I'll explain that in a second, many DVD players. But what we have to do to make it play on a DVD player is make it a video CD. You said the right words. This is an old format, predates uh, DVD, uh, still used in a lot of Asia. You can get about an hour of video on one standard CD. It'll play back in most computers and many DVD players. But we have to take this AVI and convert it to MPEG. This is, a, and not just any MPEG-1 format. This is a specific MPEG-1 format that is for VCD. It has to be the right frame rate, the right uh, um, uh, frames per second. I said that. Oh, the right uh, resolution. Here we're going to take that file. I'm gonna, this is a free program, by the way. Uh, we got a link to it on our website, AVI to VCD, and I'm going to press encode. Now, it takes some time. It's going to take a minute or two to do this. We've got 530 frames, and you can see it's going about to 10, 20 frames a second. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to convert. So I'll tell you what, this would be a good time to take a break, Manus. This is the answer to your question, a free program, AVI to VCD. If you enter in, if you go to Google or any search engine and enter AVI, the number two VCD, one word, you'll find it. Okay, Manus? That's the program that converts it into the right kind of MPEG-1. There's a one more step left, and that is going to be an, a CD recording program that can burn these VCD file f uh, format files into the right format disk. And we're going to show you how to do that in just a second. But right now, let's take a break while this is encoding.